To keep your H-clamp safe, it arrives in this rugged box. So you open the box and inside you'll find a set of manuals which are very comprehensive and, and worth reading but it's pretty intuitive to put together and start using. You start, take the first piece out of the box like this and you'll find it's one end of the, the clamp with the shaft attached. Next thing to do is to attach the lower disc very simply like that. And then finally, just attach the boom. So undo that slightly. And there you are, the H clamp is ready to use. This version is the Gordon Giltrap signature version and it comes with three shafts. There's the standard guitar shaft. We then have an intermediate length shaft and finally the smallest. The smallest shaft is for the smallest instruments as you might expect, so ukuleles, mandolins and so on and electric guitars. You then move up to um, a medium size which will do things like resonators if they're narrow bodied, um, electroacoustics and things like that, or sorry, semi-electrics, electroacoustics would be standard guitar size. If you screw these two together, the smallest and next one up, you have um, deeper bodied guitar sizes. And um, potentially, if you have any other instruments of even deeper bodies, you can use different combinations to extend it even further. But for the purposes of the remainder of the demonstration, I'll stick with the, the standard guitar shaft. So there we are back to ready to use. And to attach it, very simply, just take the clamp roughly to the right sort of size for the, uh, for the depth of the instrument. And obviously you can attach it anywhere you like around the bottom. Some people actually like to have it on the top here, but by far the, the most common place to attach it is, is down here because it's nice and out of the way and allows you to attach microphones in pretty much any position you'd want to to get the best possible sound. So roughly approximately where you want it to go, tighten it up, make sure it's tight enough so it's not going to fall off and won't move when, you, when you're using it. I mean, for example, that's, that should be tight enough to hold the guitar. Some guitars it will need to be tighter and other guitars you don't need to tighten it quite so much. But one of the design features of the H clamp is that the adjusting and tightening screw on the back here is just about the right size to be able to tighten it really tight but actually to tighten it so that you could tighten it hard enough to damage the, the instrument is virtually impossible. I'm not saying it is impossible, if you tried hard enough I'm sure you could, but with the, the human hand um, it's pretty difficult to do any damage. So tighten it up as hard as you think you need to to make it really secure. Next stage then is to um, attach the microphone. Um, if you haven't already assembled the microphone and have it in a clip then it's probably easiest just to screw the, the clip or the shock mount, whatever it is, directly onto the, the shaft. And there we have it. And then, very simply, just clip in the mic. And now you can effectively move it to anywhere that you want to in order to get the best sound. I guess a standard starting point would be somewhere around about there, pointing, oh, I guess, more over that way, towards the around about the 12th fret, um, around about that sort of distance, sometimes a bit further away, sometimes closer. If you're looking for a, um, the most natural sort of sound, that tends to be around the sort of area that you should be looking at. If you want a more uh, a mellow or a deeper sound, you could po try pointing it more towards the sound hole. And if you're looking for a, a lighter sound, uh, perhaps taking in more emphasis on the string sounds, then you'd twist it further this way, so further up the fretboard. But effectively, that's it. Um, move it to wherever you're most comfortable, where you get the best sound. And once you've got it, 
that's it. It'll stay there. Whatever you want to do with the guitar, it's not going to move. In addition to the H-clamp itself, inside the box, you'll find um, a little bag of accessories. And inside this bag, there is a spare O-ring. And that one is for the little recess on the underside of the disc. And it also will replace these little O-rings here, which are the ones that are used to uh, keep the, the H-clamp spaced from the side of the, of the guitar and prevent any damage by knocking against the side of the guitar. Um, it's very, very unlikely that you'll ever need to replace it, but there is one there if you, if you ever do. The other accessories inside here are um, three strips of Velcro, Velcro tie, and I'll show you what we use those for and 10 of these little elastic loops, which are going to be very difficult to see, but um, hopefully you'll be able to see how they're used uh, when I come onto the clamp. So I'll put that down for the minute. So the Velcro strips, the cable ties, these are used to provide strain relief on the microphone cable. So if I show you on this one that I prepared earlier, um, we have the microphone set up on the on the H clamp, and as you can see, the cable's tidied down the H clamp itself, and then around to the strap button at the top. Now it can either be attached here on the top strap button, or on the bottom, depending on um, how easy it is to get over the uh, the button itself. Some of the buttons on the bottom tend to be a little too large, so. And that's the case for this guitar. So in this instance, it's on the, the top one here. And what we do here is we wrap the cable tie around the cable and then attach it with the loop there over the, the button. So that's holding onto the button quite firmly. And what that does is it gives strain relief so that if for any reason the cable gets snagged or perhaps you tread on it while you're playing, then it won't drag the microphone off or pull the clamp off. It, it holds securely there. And for convenience, you can then use the other ties provided to hold the microphone cable to the guitar strap. Oops. Um, so you can see there that it goes around the strap and held to that around to where um, you would normally have, for instance, for um, the DI out, um, the jack going in there. In this instance, the, the cable for the microphone leaves at about the same point. So what that means is that when you're using it, it feels pretty much like it would do if it was um, a pickup with a, a DI cable plugged in. So it's all nice and securely and neatly tied away, all very secure, won't pull off. The little elastic loops are used, as shown here, to tidy the cable and hold it, stop it from flapping around when you're moving around on stage or if you happen to be moving a lot when you're recording. Um, so they just hold the cable gently to the clamp. It won't um, allow any um, acoustic transfer between the two, but it does hold it sufficiently firmly to stop it flapping. So that holds it both nicely and tidily and with the Velcro strips, everything's nice and secure and safe. So that's the accessories that come with the H-clamp. With the GG signature, Gordon Giltrap signature H-clamp, um, that is purely for guitars and similar instruments, and that's all the accessories that are provided with that package. For other instruments, um, such as cellos and double basses, where the instrument has a little lip on the side of the, of the body, the H-clamp um, would then uh, impinge on, if I put this against the white background, the body of the, uh, the double bass, for instance, could potentially impinge on the hard plastic there, which could possibly slightly damage the, um, the edge of the, uh, of the instrument. So the additional accessories that are provided with the double bass and cello versions are these little silicone tubes and 
I'll just show you how, what you do with one of them on the, the bottom, bay, on the bottom um, disc. The same happens on the top disc. But you just remove the O-ring, slip the sleeve on, and then put the O-ring back. And then the little ridge on the side of the double base will be cushioned by the, the silicone tubing. And as I say, the same thing happens on uh, the top disc there. And that's it. That's all the accessories that are provided with the H-clamp and uh, all designed to make using the H-clamp as easy as possible and to prevent any possibility of damage with all instruments. The H-clamp can also be used to turn your guitar into a mobile platform for a vocal mic. And here we have the position shown. You put the H-clamp on the upper side of the guitar and attach the microphone and it's in the perfect position for your vocals. You can also use the same microphone to pick up both the guitar and your vocals at the same time by taking it off and putting it down here in the more usual position and angling it up towards your face. And by careful positioning, you can then get the balance between off-axis pickup of the guitar and on-axis pickup of your voice to get the right blend between the two. So all in all, the H-Clamp is a highly versatile system for mounting your choice of microphone to your instrument.